Well, the G20 summit has finally begun and all the guests have started coming in. But all eyes are also on what has been a little bit of a controversial presidential banquet. Why am I talking about the controversy? Because if you remember, the visiting cards which went out, or invitation cards rather, went out as president of Bharat. And this is something which the Congress party objected to. Uh, the fact is that why are you changing everything? You're wary of the India front. And this became a huge political storm with the BJP versus the opposition parties, particularly the Congress making the point that this is all about a needless attempt being changed at the name of India to Bharat. But let's actually now talk about the dinner. The dinner is a grand show where it's going to be India's entire um, the culture, it's uh, food, all of it is going to be on the platter. We are, we are doing, of course, it's completely vegetarian. It is going to be in the mandapam and a slice of taste of every state of India, as well as sweets, rasgullas, we are told, and payasam. Every state where this has been represented, Bengal from Kashmir to Kanyakumari is going to be on the platter. But on the menu also is going to be the acrimony between the India front on one side and the BJP on the other. Now, there's the invitation which has now become a sore point. Well, what we have certainly learned is that the Congress President Malika Jun Kharge has not been invited. That is what the Congress is also confirming to us. The issue is that was he required to get that invitation? Well, we spoke to our government sources and they said that normally, and this is not the only G20 presidential banquet we are talking about, whenever the president hosts these kind of banquets for visiting dignitary, it's usually the former prime ministers and chief ministers who are invited. A couple of businessmen, people, celebrities from different walks of life are also invited. And it's really the discretion of the president as well as of the government, because lots of factors will have to be kept in mind. One, of course, is the protocol. Second, of course, is the security concerns. So the mandapam is well equipped to hold a large number of these dignitaries for that grand dinner. Well, who have been invited? Well, as we've been told, telling you that, first of all, all the former prime minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, Devagora, they have all been invited. Unlikely that Dr. Manmohan Singh may go for the presidential banquet because of health reasons. That's one thing which will be kept in mind. Chief Minister of West Bengal, Mamata Banerjee, is arriving in Delhi and she will be attending that banquet. And one is expecting that other chief ministers also will do it. So as far as government sources are concerned and the BJP is concerned, they feel that this is yet another needless controversy which has been stoked by the opposition parties where everything becomes an issue for them. Uh, normally, the procedure is that the seating pattern is again decided by the prime minister and by the government. And in honor of uh, you know the visiting dignitaries, that's how the pecking order will be decided. Uh, but there is no witch hunt here. You do not invite Malika Jun Kharge only because he is the Congress president. So he doesn't own, hold an important constitutional or a government position. And therefore, the former prime ministers and chief ministers have all been called for this presidential banquet. And as far as the BJP is concerned, they are saying that this is a needless controversy, which is once again being stoked by the opposition party.